So here we go, this has just turned up literally at 11.45 a.m. on the 19th of September 2014. This, my friend, is an iPhone 6 Plus. Ordered last Friday. Let's do an unboxing and let's see what we have inside. Here it is, my friend, all nicely packaged. There's the invoice there. Make sure it is an iPhone 6 Plus. Yeah, 128 gigabyte, space grey, iPhone 6 Plus. We've got it cooking, mate. Okay, so get rid of that. Recycle that. Let's have a look what we've got here. My trusty leather man. There it is. Nice, simple, clean, white box. 128 gigabyte. I was thinking that part of the pleasure of an Apple product, whether it be a Mac or a phone or an iPad or even an iPod, it's the opening of it. Yeah. Package everything so, so well. Smooth as cream. Anticipation's off the phone. Gotcha. So this is my first hands-on with a iPhone 6 Plus. So if you just quickly compare this to the iPhone 5S, there's <laughs> a whacking huge difference between the two products there. Mammoth huge difference. This my friends is the new has the new optical stabilizer of course as well. Um, and as well as being an awesome piece of kit, this is going to be my personal assistant. I work for myself as an artist, so to have a product like this, it's going to be so, so useful. So what we have here, got the earbuds, or earpods, got the uh, USB lightning cable, and of course the UK adapter and of course in here we should have the pin and the information iPhone 6 Plus saying that the sleep and wake button is now on the right hand side the silent switch is on the left the volume buttons left and of course the touch ID button is at the bottom there And we've got the standard Apple stickers, they're all affection of those. Two bits of information. Start turning on your phone by pressing and holding the sleep wake button for a few seconds, then follow the on screen instructions to set up your iPhone. I suspect it wants a bit of a charge first, though. Big moment. There's the apple. Oh, that's booting up. I'm going to start to make a charge. It's actually got about 75% charge already. But of course, it's always good to have the full charge. I've not actually got a case for the uh, iPhone yet, um, wasn't sure which one to get, but of course, yeah, comes with 80% charge, so 
pretty good actually. Going through the setup, the same as no SIM card, that will move over from my 5S. Again, there's the comparison in size, massive difference. English, United Kingdom, choose your Wi Fi network. I can do that. And to the The keyboard is a lot better because I one of the things I really struggle with on the keyboard is the actual size of the keys. My thumb is quite big, as you can see. So this is having that much bigger keyboard makes a big difference for me personally. That's just connecting to Wi-Fi there. I'm looking forward to using the camera. I mean that's one of the things what persuaded me to go for the new phone. Mainly because I am quite a keen photographer and the optical stabilization for me was just one of those things that stood out to be a nice key feature and of course it's now got the new autofocus where the actual sensor focuses which is going to be huge massive 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 thing I'm going to get this thing fired up folks, get the SIM card in as normal. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of the new iPhone 6 Plus. I hope you get yours and you have as much fun as I know I'm going to have. See you soon.